You needed that cash. Even if what you're saying is true, that doesn't mean I murdered Alice. You did hire Hawk to get that diamond back. <sighs> I had to. I was afraid Von Rowan would find out. Von Rowan, the diamond cartel? What do they have to do with this? When I was in engineering school, I developed a process for lab-grown diamonds. But all I could manage were small, flawed stones. They were worthless. At the time, I had no money, so I sold the technology to the only people interested, Von Rowan. They wanted to stifle the competition, you know, protect their market share. And a few years ago, Janet and I hit a rough patch, and I wanted to give her something meaningful. It was too easy just to buy her a diamond. So you decided to make one of your own? I broke out my equipment so I could make her a small diamond. But in the process, I had a game-changing breakthrough. My little romantic gesture became one of the biggest diamonds in history. Suddenly, I could make flawless stones, as many as I wanted. With technology that now belonged to Von Rowan. And when the downturn hit and you needed cash... You realized you had the means, as long as no one knew. It violated our agreement. If Von Rowan found out, they'd ruin me. Which is why you hired a strike team to recover that stone from our custody. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Warner, we found the SUV they used. It had been torched. But CSU still was able to pull the VIN number. Turns out it was stolen from a garage in Queens. And the garage owner, Joseph Bianchi, he's the brother-in-law of your head of security. We also pulled phone records and found that you and he had exchanged at least half a dozen phone calls in the hours before the attack. What? You ordered that strike. I, I didn't make these calls. I wasn't even home. It's... Uh... No. Janet, what did you do? What did I do? I treated her like family. I trusted her. When Hawk found out it was Alice, I went to her, begging for her to give the stone back. I only meant to scare her, but she grabbed for the gun and... <sighs> she would have exposed us, Steve. We were going to lose everything. I had to stop her. I had to get it back. For us. For you. <laughs>